course, on the Republican side, Donald Trump is heavily favored to win tonight's primary. New York is his hometown, and he's been married to many of its voters. <laughs> but Trump's victory may not be enough to avoid a contested convention. That's where a candidate has no majority of the delegates. Nobody gets the majority out of all the candidates thereby freeing up those delegates to vote for anyone they think would be most appealing to the American public. So, the next GOP presidential nominee could be a Gilmore Girls reboot. <laughs> but the hot name on a lot of Republican lips right now is Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. They believe... One person clapping, yes. <laughs> they believe... He would be a better alternative to Trump and Cruz, more likely to attract moderate voters and less likely to haunt your Robitussin induced nightmares. <laughs> but, good, handsome man. He's a handsome man. But Ryan keeps insisting he will not run. So let me be clear I do not want, nor will I accept the nomination for our party. Count me out. I should not be considered, period, end of story. Okay, end of story. For more on the story, let's go live via satellite to late show speaker Paul Ryan expert, speaker Paul Ryan. <laughs> speaker Ryan, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me, Stephen. Good to be with you. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is your first appearance on a late night show. It is. It is. Well, I, I'm, I'm honored. That's what we call in our business an exclusive. Happy to provide one. Yeah. Fair warning, we call everything an exclusive, though. <laughs> now, there has been much speculation as to whether you would accept the nomination in a contested Republican convention. You have said no, and I accept that. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is your agenda for House Republicans in 2016. How does your message differ as the speaker from what we're hearing from the presidential candidates? Well, one of the things that we're building here in the House Republicans is we're offering an agenda uh, to the country for how we fix our country's big problems. 71% uh, of Americans don't like the direction the country's headed. We think we owe our fellow citizens a better way forward. So we're going to tackle the issues, economic growth, patient-centered health care, how do you move people from welfare to work, how do you secure national security, restore self-government, uh, we want to give the people of this country a very coherent choice by giving them a, a, an agenda that gets this country back on track. And we want to take this agenda to the country to ask for a mandate to put these things in place in 2017. That's what we're working on here. We want to have an ideas campaign, not a personality contest. And that's what we think here in the House we can do and provide to our fellow citizens. Well, that's a powerful message, uh, a message that the American people will certainly respond to if it comes from the mouth of the future Republican nominee, yes or no, would you accept the nomination? No, Stephen. I have said I do not want, nor would I accept, the Republican nomination. Got it. So you're considering the nomination? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Okay, I'll give you some time to mull this one over. <laughs> How about now? Still no. So that's a maybe? No, it, it's a no. Like a no, no? Or one of those, no, I don't want to be Speaker of the House, but I'll accept it if you just give it to me, no's. It's a no, no. And two no, no's make a yes? No, they make a firmer no, period. Okay, period. But if I add two more periods, it becomes an ellipsis. So, possibly? So, no. Let me say it in clear English. No. Okay, how about clear German? <laughs> uh, nine. Clear Russian? Yet. Wow, you seem to know a lot of foreign languages. That kind of international experience will really come in handy if you decide to accept the Republican nomination, sir. Stephen, I have said this repeatedly. The nomination should go to someone who actually campaigned for it. For me, that door is closed. Got it. But is the door locked? It is bolted shut. I see. Is there a key under the mat by any chance? No, there's not. And before you asked, there isn't one of those little windows on the door you can punch through and turn the handle like a burglar in those home security ads. 
Got it. Okay, I apologize. Maybe Dora was a bad metaphor. Has the ship sailed? Yes, it has sailed. Okay. And was that ship the SS Yes on its way to Nomination Harbor? <laughs> no. It was the HMS not gonna happen on a one way voyage to how could I be any clearer? Well, sir, if you don't know how to be clear, I certainly don't. Look, I know it's a big decision. You should probably pray on it and then talk it over with your family. In the meantime, thank you for joining us, and I hope to have you back on the show again soon. Put me down for a strong maybe on that. President Paul Ryan, everybody, the Republican nominee.